Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to do an exercise called Where Do I Belong? Uh, we want to return the lowest index at which a value, the second argument, should be inserted into the array, the first argument, once it has been sorted. The return value should be a number. For example, uh, get index to ints 1, 2, 3, 4, and then here they've got 1.5. Should return 1 because it is greater than 1. Index at 0, but less than 2 index at 1. Likewise, get index to ends uh, 23 and 5 should return 2. 0, 1, 2. I see. Because once the array has been sorted, it will look like this. 3, 5, 20, and 19 is less than 20 and greater than 5. Remember to use research ask. So, okay, cool. Uh, this one 35 should probably go right here because it's in between 30 and 40. 0, 1, 2, 3. It should put return the position 3. Uh, 35 here. It should return a number. Okay, we've already got that one. Uh, here we've got 30. 0, 1, 2. It should return there. Okay, sweet. So the first thing that we want to do is just sort the array. So we go, um, we're going to let sorted array equal to array dot sort um, and then let's console dot log this guy so that we can see what we're working with 50 so instead of returning 50 let's just return the array now it's already 40 60 but what happens if we throw 10 in here cool so now we've got we're working with a sorted array and then we're going to say well let's say with the sorted array let's say uh, for um, we're going to let I, what I'm going to do now is in, iterate through the array and um, find the position at which it would fit the best. So I is less than the array, this, the uh, sorted uh, array dot length, and then I plus equals one. So now we're iterating through the array and we'll say if um, our number is greater than the array at position i minus 1. And our number is less than our array at position i, then we want to return i. And so this guy should give us, uh, well, well, let's, got, let's work with this guy because this one is one that we know that needs to return 3 to get the right answer. Cool. So we've got 3 on the right one. And uh, if we were to say type of, we can see it's returning a number, which is good. Uh, I wonder what happens if we, if we want one that doesn't have one. It should return 0. Oh, if there is should return a number. So if there's nothing there, we should just return zero. So that would make it so that this test would pass um, if we were to throw this guy in here. Zero. Cool. Um, this guy should return three. Anyways, I think that this will pass the test. All right, sweet. So we've got some that don't work. Now this one should return two, but it's not returning two. So let's throw this guy in here and see what's happening. It's returning zero. So here we've got zero, 10, 20, 30. Well, with this guy, we should return two, zero, one, two. So it should be in position of two. So that means like if the number is greater than or equal to array one, no, 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 maybe greater than or equal to this guy. Then we got two. So what we're doing with this one is we're passing in the number 30. We're saying, is it is 30 um, greater than this number? No. Okay, we move on to the next one. Is 30 greater than this one? No. Is 30 greater than this number? No. Is, is 30, oh, is uh, 30 less than or equal to this number? Yes. And is it greater than this number, yes. And so therefore we return two. And I think this will pass the test. All right, so we still have some edge cases that we're not dealing with properly. So let's take this guy, get this to ends. 
I throw this guy in here. Now, th five, th three, 20, and three. Five, three, 20, and three, three. That should return two, but it's returning three. Hmm. Should return a number. Well, what happens if we console.log the sorted array? Oh, weird. Our sort didn't work properly. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just use this function. Okay, so now when we're sorting the array, we're doing it properly. We're going array.sort with function at a and b, and what we're doing is we're sorting if a minus b, then we return them that way. So this is just a very common way of sorting in JavaScript. And I think if we run the tests now, that'll pass. Okay, we still have one that's not working. This one should return three. But when we throw it in there, we get zero. Why is that? 15, it should return zero. Oh, okay, so we're not dealing with the edge case in which we're at the end of the array. 15 is greater than. Hmm. We could put an else statement in here. Else if. the number is less than or equal to array at position i, then we say return sorted array dot length. I guess what we could do is just do something like if the sorted array at the position of sorted array dot length minus one is less than the number, then we just want to return sorted array dot length. And then we'll be returning that. So this this is just another conditional statement saying, if the last number of the sorted array is less than the number that we passed in, then we know that the place to position it is at the end because we're I've sorted it, and then that last position is 10. 15 is greater than 10, so we know that it needs to just go at the end of the array. Um, yeah, if we run the test, I think that'll pass. Cool, so first off, what we're doing is sorting the array, and we're doing it based on um, a function here, the sorting function. Um, our next step, we're going through each element of the array and asking, is the number um, greater than the array at the previous position and less than or equal to the array at the position that we're on? And if that's the truth, then we return the position that we're on, because that's the one where we can insert. And then we're saying, if the last number of that array is less than the number that we've been passed in, then we return the array.length, because we know we just want to throw it in at the end. And then finally, if none of these things are true, then we want to just return zero, because there's nowhere really for us to put this thing. Yeah, so we run the test and they pass. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.